It's week seven of the National Football League, and we've got the Shamrocks' veteran linebacker. He was terrific defensively last week with 11 tackles. It's the Shamrocks and the Dreadnoughts, and it's all up next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us across the Atlantic and along the River Liffey in the wonderful city of Dublin, Ireland. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Dreadnoughts of Virginia Beach and the Dublin Shamrocks. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at these Dubliners entering play here. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for visiting Virginia Beach, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6'5". And I think if you ask most folks to give you their first half MVP, very likely they're going to say it's this man right here. The NFL's leader in touchdown passes to this point in the season. Still two months to go, but if he can keep going to the pace he's at, this is going to be a dangerous team come January, and he could very well walk away with the MVP. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Seven catches, 73 yards, and a touchdown. Better tighten up the coverage if you expect to slow this guy down because if he gets going, he'll eat you up. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. But you look at this defense. And right now in the National Football League, they're ranked number 18 against the pass. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because... They know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get out of roll or they chip away at their timing. They pick up 12 on the play and the chains move. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. On play action, they'll throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Two yards, good enough for a first. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rush is just too off on your quarterback and makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Looking to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. The throw over the middle taken in. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Left side, it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 18 yards there, down two to 18 and a first down. Hands it off out of the gun. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. And this one is right through. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a peek at the man under center. He has five full years in the league under his belt. Now in year number six. Well, the silver lining from last week, he played phenomenally. Kept the ball clean and led them to the end zone several times. You know these NFL quarterbacks, though. They trade away all those touchdowns if it meant getting the win. That's his focus this week. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. But you look at this defense. Now, they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. It's going to look at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw. Page. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. They said there was a lot of discussion in their defensive team meeting room after last week's performance. They had seven sacks. Something in the water. There's one in the first quarter. A lot of discussion, a lot of excitement because now everyone wants to get involved with this. Who's going to continue that process? Who's going to get to the quarterback this week? But they have to be careful. When you have that much pressure, they want to use it against you. Draws, screens, those types of plays. We'll see if they do that. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And a quick throw here, that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll set up to throw. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. 
Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Looking to throw on second down. Page throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Now keep in mind, they did have three interceptions last week. Couldn't quite come up with a first quarter pick that time. But they had to like what they saw in terms of reacting when the ball is thrown. We had an expression when I played, it was called break on it. And, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. It'll go in the books as a sack and a loss of a yard. But more importantly, it leads to fourth down. Well, they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Taken down at the 42. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And this one is incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Now the Virginia Beach offense sent to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from all angles, created a lot of illusions and especially just beat them man for man. That's that he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way down to the 26. Well, penalties don't usually hurt as much as that one does. That is a monster gain wiped out by the flag. And you and I both know that an offense only gets a couple of those big moments in a normal game. You've got to take advantage of them. When you give one away because of an avoidable penalty, that's a major disadvantage. It just steals away every bit of momentum you just generated with that play. To throw on third down, Page. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Needed 10. He got nine. Fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Well, they bring their punter out there now as he's on here to punt it away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And taken right at the 35. And he goes out right around the 39. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here. And now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. 
25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Dublin with the football here to begin the second quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, He's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there was no way that ball was going to be caught. And it's a fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it, changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I'd feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll start the drive at the 43. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. He finds his man complete. That's Curtis. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Operating from the gun, Page. And he rifles one incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And his throw is incomplete. That was not a real confident throw right there, and he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. Again, he'll drop to throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. This is second and eight. Back to throw here. Looking deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They'll set up a throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. So they bring out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. He'll look to set up his blockers. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. On third down, Overstreet. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. On first down, Overstreet. And he's going to ball his way forward to the 48. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And it's complete to Mitchell. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Up the middle they go. Overstreet. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 57 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive and until that run. There was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen. Maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said. Move on to the next play. That one just happened. Let it go. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. To throw on second down, Page. He finds his man complete. It's Curtis. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now we've got a third down and three. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. They'll try and run for it. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. They come up short here on fourth down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. Now second and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
Back to throw. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Now back to throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. And on now is the punter. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held it, they might go for it again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. To throw again, Page. This is caught by Williams. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Looking to throw. Page. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt. Back out comes this offense now, late in this first half. And you wonder if they'll just take this 3-0 lead to the locker room. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Well, first down screen pass, good for five. They'll throw now on the final play. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As it's time now to send you back. Message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. For this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. You know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, 
pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. Well, that's the kind of play that was lacking all the way through the first half. Maybe this can give them a little bit of a spark because they're not out of this game by any stretch. Throwing on first down. Page. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Over street. And he'll get it down this time in the 17. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. From the 17, here's second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Overstreet. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Now they need two. Here's third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dreadnoughts have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this taken in at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. He'll look to throw. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Well, they brought the lead into this third quarter, and now they're really stepping up, setting a tone here defensively. They came right out roaring because you had to know that in the locker room, they talked about setting that tone that you just described, continuing the dominance that they exhibited in the first half. And they'll send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch called for. No gimme in these conditions, but he's able to look this one in. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. They'll run on first down. Overstreet, eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll keep it on the ground. Overstreet. 
And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Page. Looking left side, and it's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's a gain of 14. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. On first down, Overstreet. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Off the play fake. Page escapes the sack. And Allen caught it up. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. They go play action here on first down. That's off the mark, incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. 72 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. So right after the defense gets you the ball on a takeaway and a fumble recovery of their own, you've got to reward them, don't you? You've got to stay out on the field, give them a chance to rest, and how about doing it the way they did it? Running the football and picking it up on third down. Yeah, would not have wanted to go three and out. They avoid that right there. Yeah, they avoided the glares as they went back to the bench, didn't they? From the 29, here's second down at seven. They'll look to throw here. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and this will wind up being a third and three. On play action, they'll throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. He'll drop to throw. Well, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. All told, they get 13 yards on that play. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point, and what's usually a direct correlation, very few explosive plays. That's been their issue, not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Now here's a handoff out of the gun, and he'll go down, and that will do it. 
for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to the Emerald Isle. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And here he'll get it down to the seven. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and three. They'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gutting for on first and goal. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. They'll try again. And this time he finally breaks through. It's a touchdown. And this is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown. But now, a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off play action. Page. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. Or that could have been trouble fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half last thing they needed was to lose the possession and the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there their chance to score points but the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession on second down over street looking for a crease can't find one stopped at the line of scrimmage he got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. On third and two, Page. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Now a play fake here on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Curtis. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Second down and six now. This is middle. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From the gun on third down, Page. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. 
So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. They'll set up to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They're going to look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Well, the Virginia Beach offense set to take over. Well, their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. On second down now, Overstreet. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Operating from the gun, Page. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open. But oh, my goodness, just too much air under the ball, and he knew it right away. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. It'll go as just a 15-yard punt. Dublin's offense now set to take over. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got his man in stride, complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Back to throw here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll be taken down at the 34. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. 
So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Looking to throw. He sets to fire deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick is indeed good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So that Charles a season long, and uh, since he's a rookie, I guess we can go ahead and call that a career long as well. I love how you put that together because, you know, <laughs> there's everyone at home was saying, okay, has to be career, right, since he's a rookie. Well done by you, but I definitely like what I've seen from him so far this year. Very distinguished college career. He's looking right at home here in the NFL. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down 13-7, a minute 36 to go. Back to throw. A full straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. Back to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Curtis. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. They'll look to throw. Complete. This is Mitchell. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are in the field? Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. He'll look to throw. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for Dublin, the win moves him up to 5-2 and two now on the year, and they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for Virginia Beach, things are definitely going south quickly as they fall now to 1-6, and six, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon.